Hi, in this video, we will see how to install Selenium using your Mac computer and PyCharm editor. This video is dedicated for Mac and PyCharm editor. But if you want to install Selenium for other environment like Mac computer and Visual Studio code or Windows environment and either Visual Studio code or PyCharm, then check my other video tutorial from the playlist. But this video will be dedicated for this two environment, Mac and PyCharm. So at first we need to open PyCharm. We can open PyCharm by holding command key and space bar all together on your Mac computer and then the spotlight search will be appeared. Here we have to type PyCharm and once we type partially P O I C H something like that, then the PyCharm will be pop up in the search menu. From here just double click on top of it and it will be opened very shortly. Once PyCharm is open, then it will show this type of window. For me, I have something here because I created some project. For your case, this part will be empty. And in this part, you will find this type of option. Create new project, open or get from version control. Our target is to create a new project and to install Selenium. So what we have to do, we have to choose the first option create new project. So once you move your cursor on top of it, you will see hand like icon and then just click over there to start a new project and then it will come this type of window. Here it is asking where will be the location of your PyCharm project. For me, the location is users me PyCharm projects untitled. So here I have to type the project name. For example, our Python project name is like Selenium Python. So I am typing selenium underscore python. Okay, so once you type that, then you can click the create button, but don't do, just hold on me. So here I just typed my project name, but if you want to change the folder, you can also click here and then from there, you can also change the folder location or you want to uh, save the folder. For me, me, then PyCharm projects, and here it will create on for, uh, it will create that thing. Okay, so I'm going to ignore this thing. So I'm going to, I just press escape key to cancel and then I'm happy with this part. But if you want to uh, keep this thing to other location, you can also do. And then after that, you have to type the project name. So the location is done. Now there is next part. We will see another line like project interpreter, existing interpreter. And there is a warning, no Python interpreter selected. So we have to select on Python interpreter. So what we have to do, we have to click here and then it will be expanded. Okay, and there is two options. One is new environment using virtual environment and there is existing interpreter. Okay, so here you can use existing one. If you use existing one, then what we have to do, you have to select this three dot and from there you will see multiple environments are there. This is the system interpreter, which is by default. If you choose this, you can also do that and then click OK button. Then this interpreter will be selected like the user local bin python 3.8 okay so you can use in this way the interpreter or you can also use some other interpreter also okay and also you can do this way new environment using virtual environment so it will create another environment for you but uh, the base interpreter it will be like this okay so you can also use that so basically there is two options you can use the existing environment uh, by using this thing and from here you can choose any of the interpreter but the system interpreter it will be a default interpreter and if you use pip environment then you can also use that environment also okay and if you want to create a new virtual environment just cancel it and then choose new environment using virtual environment and then you have to choose or it will be the virtual environment i am showing that this will be the virtual environment this is in the same python posit and uh, the base interpreter it will be python 3.8 okay so i will use this one but if you wish you can also use that if you use that uh, then you don't need to link anything later okay but i will create a virtual environment uh, it will be easier to explain but if you wish you can continue then after that we have to press this create button once you press the create button then it will give you this type of window that it is loading everything that means it is creating a virtual environment for you okay and very soon it will finish uh, creation of that virtual environment and you will get this type of message 
uh, this is the welcome type of message tip of the day we can uncheck it because we don't need to see this every time and then we can press the close button to close the thing and now our virtual environment is ready we created a brand new virtual environment but if you wish you can create uh, you can use the existing virtual environment okay now here just create a package over there uh, we can create a package by right clicking and then uh, right click and then new uh, python package we have to choose this thing and we can create a python package like uh, selenium selenium project i just typed it selenium project and then hit return key and it will create a package over there okay now what we have to do we have to select the interpreter to select the interpreter we have to click this pie charm and then there is the option uh, preferences we have to click there and after clicking the preferences then it will pop up the preferences option from here you will go to the project selenium this is our project right if we expand then we it will show you this type of thing here there is two options one is project interpreter and another is project structure so here is the project interpreter project interpreter it is actually by default it is creating a interpreter for our project but if you wish you can also choose the default interpreter this is the system default interpreter but i am not going to use that uh, but uh, you can use that for some companies they use this thing so i am using the brand new which we created first and there we are seeing there are couple of tools are there uh, this is package this package uh, this package is already installed pip set up tools something like that but there is no selenium package so now we need to install that so we can install selenium packages couple of different ways so at first click on ok button to close this thing i'm showing you uh, the first way you can open terminal from this pycharm there is a uh, in bottom left side of your pycharm editor there is a option it's called terminal if you click there the terminal window will be opened and from here you can install uh, selenium package by typing pip space install space selenium and you can hit return key to start installation of selenium and there is another way you can install uh, selenium very easily and that, that should be graphically so for that case you have to go pycharm then click on preferences and from there go to project interpreter and then this will be appeared here and there is uh, some plus minus like icon okay sometimes these icons are here in the bottom sometimes in the top or corner it depends on the version okay so in this version the plus and minus this type of icons are down so what we have to do we need to install selenium to install selenium we have to press this plus button okay and it will be appear like this so here we have to type selenium so if you type selenium then we will find selenium is there in the list this is all the package list of python okay we created a virtual environment and our intention is to install selenium over there right now we saw that only two packages are there no selenium is there so our target is to install selenium we showed you that we can use selenium uh, to install selenium you can also use this terminal also but we are going to do using graphical this is very easy that's why i used it but in terminal you can also do that same thing so if you click selenium then right side you will see the details uh, python binding for selenium and version and that is the url okay and it is showing you the version okay and then what i have to do we have to uh, click on install package to install selenium and there is another button but we are not going to that button we have to install this selenium so i am going to hit install package and very soon it will install selenium okay and then you will see a progress bar here and once it is done then in the editor i mean in this project interpreter you will see selenium will be there okay so once it is finished you can close this thing because we don't need it this window anymore so i'm going to close as i close because we don't need to install anything more so right now in the project interpreter uh, we see there is selenium okay and it installed uh, 3.14.0 and this is the latest version okay in this way we can easily install selenium and finally once you finished installation just press on ok button to close this window and we are ready now the system is ready and it installed successfully so in this way you can easily install selenium on your mac computer using pycharm so thank you for watching and from the next video we will start scripting using selenium and python together
thank you for watching hopefully by watching this video uh, you are able to create a selenium project and you can also install selenium in your mac computer using uh, the pycharm editor so thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and if you are new to our channel or still you didn't subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel and that's all see you on next video tutorial thank you for watching